woke up crying a couple of times. A little closer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's welcome the newly mulletless Nick LaMonico back to the couch. Thank you. All right, Nick, how's your K-Fest been thus far? Uh, it's been good. It's been good. It's been rough the last day or so. It's been like, real drafty on my neck. Mm -hmm. you know, back of my head's a been chilly. a little chilly. Yeah, I feel like uh, I need a beanie. Um, <laughs> but eventually we'll work through it, you know. Yeah. But the mullet is still at our booth wearing sunglasses, greeting everyone that comes to our booth. So, really? Yeah, yeah, it's still there. So um, it's, it's kind of sad when I walk up and see it. You know, we have had a lot of memories together, um, a lot of time spent. Um, just being sexy on the back of my head, and now it's it's not That's anymore. Gone. So we're getting through it, though. It's an emotional struggle, but the show's that been good. That was going to be one of my questions. Are you still traumatized from your recent mullet removal? Yeah, I didn't sleep too well last night. <laughs> Woke up a lot, um, you know, freaking out like what happened, you know, and then uh, you felt you thought it was a bad dream. Yeah, you and then I thought it, it wasn't was there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, some night cold sweats. <laughs> Woke up crying a couple of times, and like well, at least one or two more times than normal nights crying. But um, yeah, it, it was a rough night, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it. If you could replace the sound of your sneeze with any other noise, what would it be? Sound, if I replace with a sneeze, probably a, a fart sound. That would be would be what I would do. I would think. Sounds about right. Yeah. All right, so we've pretty much broken in the orange couch. Mm -hmm. On a scale from 1 to 10, what do you rate it this time? Well, last time I was on it, uh, I gave it a 6.9 because it wasn't quite a 7. Um, but it's it's kind of been put through the ringer. It's a little a little looser. Um, <laughs> You know, maybe not not as not as taut as it was mm -hmm. uh, a month or so ago. I was on there, so I'm gonna have to give it a give it a 5.5 now. It's, it's oh, gone down. it went yeah. down! It did. Oh it went man! Down. <laughs> it went down. Sorry. What's the most unexpectedly good thing that has ever happened to you? Most unexpectedly good thing that's ever happened to me. Um, well. During the 1996 Olympic Games, there was a contest at McDonald's <laughs> where you pull off little tabs off the soda to see what you won, and I won a year's supply of Coke off a little pull tab thing. No. Yeah, super awesome. And the way that they did that, they gave me this fat stack of uh, coupons that were you could get a, a 12 pack of Coke products, so Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, at any grocery store. So I just had this stack of unlimited 12 packs of Coke. That is unexpectedly yeah, good. It was awesome. <laughs> like I was expecting to get like a free small French fry, and I'm like, your supply of Coke. My dad immediately was like, that's mine. I'm like, no, it's not. This was a my soda. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I don't talk to my dad. I don't talk to him anymore because of that. I don't blame you one oh, bit. Man. What is some new or current product that you're excited about? Well, I don't have my uh, my assistant behind the couch to, uh, to, to, to do the whole up and down this time. Um, but probably, uh, especially at our show here today at Knowledge Fest, um, our, our, our Marine Tower speakers probably what I'm most excited about. They're, they're, they really are the most innovative tower speakers on the market. I'm, I'm a little bit biased, but I believe that to be true. Um, and they always get a wow demo. So um, if you're a customer out there, you've not heard our tower speakers with our tweeter line array, definitely give those a listen because I like them a lot. I'll have to come over and hear them. All right. What legacy do you hope to leave behind? Hmm. Like in the industry or just in general? I just think maybe in your life. Um, I, uh, I wasn't blessed with the good looks like Rudy over here. So <laughs> Rudy's just off camera, if you guys don't know. And if you don't know, Rudy is a, is a damn handsome man. Um, we aren't all blessed with looks, you know, so we have to work really hard to be noticed. Um, um, unlike Rudy. <laughs> Um, my legacy, uh, I just want people to smile and uh, like make the best of the life that you have. So my legacy be is I hope that I left people smiling more than when before I got there. Like I want them to think, hey Nick, let's made things happier. You know, I feel that way though. Like you bring such a good vibe. So I feel like you're doing it. All right. Well, I appreciate that. And I hope you're all laughing out there at me or with me. Either way, <laughs> at or with, I'm good. Either way. 
All right, Nick. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the Orange Couch again. I'm glad to be here for a second time, and I apologize that I did not have my robe. It might have been a little awkward, too, that we're on it together. Oh, yeah. Where is your robe yeah. and or cigar? Uh, the cigar, um, I only smoke cigars from the 7-Eleven just um, down the street from Davis headquarters. So if I don't get a cigar from there, I don't like it. Um, that's the only place I smoke cigars from, and we didn't have time to get one. Um, and then my robe, uh, I forgot. It was in the dryer, and I, and I oh. forgot it. Maybe next time. <laughs> next time, yeah. Third time's a charm. All right, well, enjoy K-Fest. Thank you. Thank you.